Hi, Nathan here again with another True Tech troubleshooting tutorial. Today in Adobe Lifecycle, I want to talk a little bit about master pages. So we have here uh, Adobe Lifecycle open, and we have a blank form. I want to go to the master pages tab up here, and if you can't see this tab, you can always go to the gray space, right click, and make sure that master pages is checked. And once we go in here, uh, nothing really seems to change, but if you look on our hierarchy, we're no longer in the in the main design of the main page one. We're now up here in the master page zone, and we're messing around with the higher part of the hierarchy here. And so, first, I want to explain what a master page is. What what is a master page? Well, basically, it's a template that Lifecycle will use to initialize pages in your document. And so if you don't mess with master pages, then when you start to add pages to your document, it's just going to use the the generic defaulted one that's already there in every form. The only time that uh, you'll use anything different is if you come up here to master pages and customize uh, a master page and then you'll have the choice of of which master page you want to use. So we're going to do that. So we're going to drag our title bar here and we're going to change the way that the uh, the body of this page works by not allowing the user to get up into this area. So what we're doing is we're we're taking the content area, let's just name it content1, and we're reducing the size of it so that it only covers uh, about 8 inches of the page. And we can go in here into our layout and make exact specifications. So it's going to be 9 inches, it's going to be 8 inches wide, it's going to start a quarter inch off the page and an inch and a half down. So now when we go back to our design view, since this is our only master page, page 1 has to refer to it. And now you see how there's this area up here I can't do anything with. It's outside of the boundaries of the form or the subform that, that is, is called page 1. So I've made a template. And if I want to make another one, I can come up here to Pages, Master Pages, and I can insert a new master page. And I can go to that, and what it did is it copied the, the, the page that was already there, at least the sizing of it. And I can take the website header, put that in there, and now when I go back to my Design tab, I only have one page. I don't see master page number two. But if I come in, I'm going to insert a new page. I'm going to rename it page two. And then, as you can see right now, it matches the first page. But if I come here, after I select it in the hierarchy, and I come over here and choose page number two, all of a sudden that header changes. And so now, when I run my form, I've got two pages, one that has the title bar, one that has the website. So the master page gives you the ability to reuse objects without having to, to build uh, things all over again. Uh, master pages come in to play when you have multiple page forms and uh, it helps you maintain the flow and control pagination better. So, uh, for example, we could also create a, a nice page numbering system using our master pages and going into the custom objects and dragging on this little object onto each of the master pages. And then when we preview our form, now at the bottom of each page will be page number one of two and two of two. And that's just one little minor thing that Master Pages allows you to do. And now as I'm, as I'm here in the design view, that's, that object is there, uh, but it doesn't, doesn't calculate until I preview the form. So in conclusion, this is just a brief introductory 
lesson on uh, what ma master pages are and why you'd want to use them. Of course, I've n just scratched the surface of their ability and power. In a future video, I'll go over the advanced features that master pages can allow a form programmer to pursue. But until then, keep the questions and comments coming. Thanks to all those that have subscribed to the YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Make sure you check out the blog for related videos and code. And always remember that IT problems are usually simple, but they're never easy. We'll see you next time. Thanks.